Hey, what's up, everyone? This is Chris Hendricks, uh, the co-owner of NBA Never Broke Again uh, Mentorship. Uh, right before we get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that 2022 uh, pricing for our mentorship is up. Uh, I'll just put uh, some of the information in, uh, below in the description. Uh, for those who didn't see the post and uh, okay we can get into the video so the first thing we're gonna look at uh, today which is the 11th of Jan uh, 2022 we can uh, have a look at uh, Nasdaq right here and this is the four hour time frame so uh, please uh, if you are trying to follow and mimicking these analysis just try to scroll down to the four hour time frame and so basically in the four hour time frame is the suitable uh time frame or the preferred uh time frame for trading nasdaq because once you scaled up to the daily and weekly it sort of like doesn't make sense you feel me so you have to scale down to uh, or at least start from the four hour time frame uh when you're trying to analyze nasdaq so uh this is what we have uh okay let me just remove everything i'm just uh so i can explain uh everything so our, our first step is to get our highest high which is uh this point right here and the lows you feel me so this is the the recent low with this uh correction uh testing this uh this zone or level so we we have that you feel me so we are working with the market within this channel uh which is our high and our low so we need to identify what kind of uh, structure uh, it formed right within uh, the zone so uh, as you can see uh, the market is correcting it's moving sideways which means it's correcting and what i can see is i can draw this uh, distinct uh, uh, downtrend uh, with a series of uh, three touches which is uh, our preference because the third touch always has the highest probability so please remember that we trade the third touch that is where we usually or, or prefer taking our trades because it has the highest probability it, which means it minimizes uh, your chances of getting the trade wrong uh, because now there's just so much confluence or reasons for you to go ahead with your setup so we have uh, the structure right here we don't have to draw the, the resistance again but uh, you can do that if you want but then you can see we had uh, this uh, uh, structure and now we can go down to the one hour time frame uh, just before we proceed with the current uh, market I just wanna uh, show you guys the trade that I took last week before the market closed uh, I had this low right here right as you can see it had uh, the first touch and the second touch and the market was around these areas uh, I'll, I'll quickly show you guys uh, the before and after so I had this mm, let me scale down to maybe 30 minutes so I had this structure right here and the market was still around these areas and I decided to take a sell based off the structure right here and I'll explain why 
uh, remember the market moves in two phases, which is uh, an impulse, the first phase, and then a correction, the second phase, where the market just goes sideways without having a distinct direction. But then remember, after every correction, there's a breakout, whether it's a sell or a breakout to the upside. So in this case, we had an impulse, uh, correction sideways huge impulse and then uh, a correction where I took my trade and I predicted this down movement uh, so basically my trade was like this uh, so this was uh, the cell that I took with NASDAQ uh, but then it was uh, it was a very tricky sell and I'll show you guys why because it's not at the favorable zone it's it was at the lowest low right and it gave uh, I'm just gonna go back to the four hour time frame to give you guys a perspective so basically the market was at the zone uh, this uh, the zone let me just change the color to it was at this uh, pink zone right I don't know why I choose pink or I don't know what this color is but so the market was uh, around these areas and uh, it's the lowest low so basically around these areas you should be looking at buys but then the market gave a signal for a sell it sold and then gave a signal by correcting the market corrected at our lowest low so I went ahead and took the trade broke uh, the low which means now it becomes invalid I should get rid of the uh, sorry the the zone uh, let me just get rid of this real quick um, okay so we can get rid of this zone because right now it was broken but then the price went back inside the zone but then we can just remove it since it was broken and we can work with the zone the lowest low right here which the market reached and rejected so which means right now we are um, looking for for buys uh, let me just get a decent arrow sorry my mouse list uh, let me get a decent arrow so right now well we could be looking at something like this uh, I'm not gonna hold for long uh, let me just get the measuring tool so basically uh, I'll be happy with, with this kind of volume which is about three three percent three point five percent which is decent with Nasdaq uh, or you can use uh, your margin to uh, monetize from the spread so, so right now we can scale down to okay we can get rid of this and this as well uh, and start afresh because right now we're looking at a new trend we are uh, going up uh, this is a change of trend and I'll tell you guys why the trend is changing it's going up now instead of a uh, continuing to the downside so you can see we had this huge uh, impulse and then another impulse but then it was rejecting all the way up right and remember after an impulse we have a correction so the market uh, in these areas it was correcting the market was correcting right here uh, which means there were opportunities for you to enter a, a buy uh, okay so uh, we had this uh, 
structure or flag, whatever you want to call it. And we kind of had, uh, okay, I can go down further to uh, the five minute time frame and just to see what we have right here. So you can see we had uh, the market rejected here. After this uh, huge uh, bullish run, the market rejected and then continued up. And then it started correcting, right? And it already had this uh, uh, this uh, this low that it kept uh, rejecting on. This was a rejection. Uh, we can we can count this week as a rejection, rejection, uh, rejection, rejection, right? So you can get the sense of the price trying to push up since it's rejecting every time it goes uh, down, right? And uh, right before the break, okay, we can just fix this. So you could have uh, started your your trend line from this point, counting this as your first touch. Uh, let me just get the, the small arrow. First touch, uh, second touch, and your third touch. Remember with the third touch, that's where you have your highest probability and your confluence. So uh, this is a, a dub, double bot bottom, sorry, it's a double bottom formation. Or you can just simply call it a W because it looks like a W, right? So this uh, pattern is a signal to, to buy. So after uh, rejections at this level, we could have placed our trade uh, to the upside. So we could have been within this trade, but then we did not catch it. And right now we need to see what happens with uh, the current market and as you can see we had a bullish run right here and right now the market is correcting right so we are expecting another bullish run so with that said we need to uh, try to support uh, a significant flags or patterns just like this one right here we can just take anything because if you can zoom in we have this going on right we have this going on uh it's quite of a steep flag because you can see it's sloping downwards very vertically instead of being flat uh like the previous one this one is very vertical which means uh it's not quite strong if you were to put it horizontally or use a uh, a block you could see this low was broken right this low as well is was broken here and you can see this low has uh, uh, the chances of it being broken as well a high, right? You feel me? So they can break this low, right? You can't say this is the first touch, second touch, third touch because they've been breaking these. Uh, horizontal or blocks right lows the previous low was broken by the next low and so on so the price can just keep on going lower and then form something significant like this a huge uh, a huge uh, flag or pattern and then you will suffer from losses because you were caught it you were caught up within the small uh, uh, thing that looks like a flag or a pattern but 
uh, it could not, it, it might not be a flag, you feel me? So you need to be uh, careful with these kind of setups, especially in these very, very low time frames because now you're just way too zoomed in, right? You're way too zoomed in. You need to uh, uh, keep in mind that this uh, might uh, continue happening. They might keep uh, breaking these lows. Okay, so uh, moving on. Yeah, we uh, just trying to use the previous uh, market uh using the boss pattern we we could be looking at something of this nature and you can see the price will just keep going sideways until it forms something significant enough for us to to enter this uh buy and just look at what I was talking about it uh, the price continuing breaking lows you see they just broke this new low they broke it the price rejected and then broke it again so you need to keep in mind of that with Nasdaq but then overall uh we're looking at buys uh sadly we missed this one right here we missed it uh but then there's still way too much room for for buys. There will still be more uh, opportunities until maybe the zone right here at this high. So uh, that is the direction with Nasdaq. Uh, right before we end this video, uh, I just want to say thank you to every one of you. Uh, we will uh, keep posting content for you guys to learn because... Uh, this is uh, a very lucrative source of income if you guys are considering trading or taking it as a career which I recommend instead of just doing it part time because uh, you are not going to give it your all and you will think that it doesn't work because you uh, suffer from uh, losses that would have been prevented if you had enough knowledge. Uh, so with that said, thank you once again. Uh, this was Chris Hendricks, uh, the co-owner of Never Broke Again Mentorship. Uh, uh, please like and subscribe. And to the game. No taste, no cams. No taste, no cams. I'm back in the studio. Damn, you know I'm so fucking yo. Damn, you know how to tell yo. Never seen me and be daddy yo. Never be dancing on my teeth. You know I'm fresh, fresh, fresh boy.